Hey all, welcome back to Train of Thought. My name is Trey, and this is where I share my thoughts on the Winnipeg Jets. So I'm a little late doing this video because um, with a combination of me working during this game yesterday, with the weather being very dicey here, I almost forgot to do this video. Um, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing it now. Um, maybe I almost forgot it because I wasn't happy with the game yesterday. That being said, the Jets uh, in the second half of their home and home against St. Louis fell 4-1. Um, that doesn't tell the whole story though. Um, as Paul Marie said that he liked their game yesterday in a three goal loss better than their overtime loss on Friday. And I would uh, agree with him in a lot of ways um, because the, the effort was, was much better. Um, and they didn't catch some some breaks, which we'll talk about. Uh, and also, St. Louis is really good. Um, so jump jump right into that four to one score. Uh, the Blues outshot the Jets, uh, twenty eight twenty six. So Connor Hellebuck saved twenty four out of the twenty eight shots that he faced. Um, <sighs> I'm curious what they're they're gonna do on Tuesday night with, with him if, if they're gonna um, put Brassois in against a very good um, Colorado team or if they're going to ride Hellebuck. But um, I think Hellebuck's probably ready for a little bit of a breather. He um, has not been as sharp as he was, and I know that he was playing <laughs> otherworldly, especially in November. Um, but would kind of like to see him get, I don't know if, if, if you do a three gear scale, he was on third gear and right now it feels like he's on like stuck between first and second gear. Um, so hopefully he, he can get back going. Uh, and what, like I th think I said a little bit ago with the Jets or, or the, the Jets, the blues are really good. Um, they have not, um, slowed down, uh, after winning the Stanley Cup last year, no hangover for them. They've won eight straight games and they just attack you. And I, I know that on, um, I think it was the, the, the first goal of the game that they just saw a little opening, seized it and, and, and scored and the, um, Jets broadcast was like, man, they take advantage of mistakes. And then we're like, you know what, that, that wasn't really even a, a mistake. Um, they are <laughs> just a very opportunistic team and make normal plays by um, other teams look like bad mistakes. Um, so they're on, on a roll right now. Um, Hopefully the, the, the Jets can be a little bit more on a roll like that when they play each other. I believe they play in February, uh, two games within a very quick span again. So hopefully the Jets will be on a roll at that point. And uh, credit to the Blues. Um, with that being said, as I talked about some breaks, the Jets went 0 for 3 on the power play and they hit three posts on those power plays um two within 10 seconds they were um they were getting the looks that they wanted and line a was hitting pipe i i, I don't know shifley hit one um i'm trying to remember who the other person was if, if it was peonk that that hit a, a post um they were clicking on the power play and we're doing everything but score a goal and i know that the key thing is a score a goal but man, they were getting good looks and in an inch down, and that's a goal. Um, so, you know, credit to the the Blues for for putting their their sticks where they, they needed to. I mean, Line A was I mean smirking during those power plays because he was getting some great looks and was getting, um, you know, it, it, he he was getting the the one timers that he wants from the spots that that he's legendary from scoring from and he was either hitting pipe or getting the shot blocked um so 
you know, not really had anything to fault there. They, they had some great zone time. I mean, the number one unit was staying on the ice for pretty much the whole power play. So, yeah. Um, the, the Jets' lone goal scorer was Nick Shore, who scored his second goal as uh, a Jet, his third goal on the season. He scored one when he was with the Leafs earlier this year. Um, the penalty kill went one for two, so they, they have been scuffling a little bit. One thing I, I did want to say going back to that Nick Shore goal is the fourth line has really picked it up. I know that for a while people were... Um, not feeling very good about that just because it seemed like the Jets were really relying on their top three lines and the, the fourth line was just happy to tread water. Uh, but the the fourth line that they have right now with um, Nick Shore, um, Jaskin Harkins, and Logan Shaw has been looking awesome. Um, on that goal, um, Jansen Harkins had a great forecheck to kind of poke the uh, puck loose um got it to, to logan shaw who had a great pass over to shore who um uh, rifled it home so um awesome job by then and by them and they have really picked it up over the last like f five games so I, I did just go back to the wild game where they they looked really good um and, and so that's been really positive to see and it's going to be hard once um, guys start getting healthy like uh, Perot and Little um, and Andrew Kopp about what they're going to do with some of these guys because they're really um, bringing what they need to this uh, fourth line. Um, so that that's about all I, I have for this game. Uh, the, the Jets will play their last game of 2019 on Tuesday night in Colorado, another really tough game. Um so hopefully they can end 2019 on a good note. Uh, so please put your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this video, uh, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching. Um, and if you are in an area close to, to me with all this bad weather, please be safe out there. Um, and I'll talk to you later.